All the beloved in the name of Jesus. I seek your eyes with God for Satan and the curse of the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. I bear witness that there is no God but God, and I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad was his messenger. All the last blessings upon Muhammad, the family of Muhammad, the fans of Muhammad, and rain on peace upon all of them. Inshallah, uh, I'm going to go over the uh, Shaitan, uh, the devil. Inshallah, and some aspects of the devil and what the devil does. Um, from the last video I made uh, about the Riyah, uh, the whisper, and the uh, continuous struggle, uh, I think it is a need for me to make the video about the devil. Inshallah, this is in uh, chapter uh, 16 in the Quran, uh, verse 99 through 100. It says in the Arabic, Inahu leya sadahu sultanu sultanun ahlaladina ahmanu wa ahla rabbihim ya tawaka lun inama sultanu ahlaladina ya ta walaunahu walaladina. It says, Verily, uh, there is no authority for him over those who believe and rely on their Lord. And verily, his authority is only over those who befriend him and those who associate with him. This is a uh, Quran chapter 99, or I'm sorry, chapter 16, verse 99 uh, and 100, inshallah. So, we have uh, in the school of Islam uh, in the Quran uh, it says that you know if you befriend the shaitan uh, you know he'll become your friend and then uh, you have many bad things uh, that associate with the shaitan uh, in in chapter 14 verse 22 in the English it says uh, and and shall shall say uh, the devil after their affairs decided verily God promised you uh, the promise of truth and I gave you a promise but failed to keep them to you and I have no authority uh, over you except I call you and you respond unto me so blame me not but rather blame yourselves I cannot be your aid now nor uh, can you be my aiders really I disbelieve in your associating with me uh, me with God from before really the unjust ones for them shall be a painful chastisement Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, that the Satan on the day of judgment uh, will say that you know I disassociate myself from you you know because the Satan has to deal with himself too because the devil knows what God is the devil prays to God three times a day you know the devil uh, is understanding of what what is going on and all he can do is, is, is do certain things to you he makes things uh, and there's three things that the, the Satan uses this one number one is waswasa which is the temptation or the whispering which is a continuous thing uh, prophet muhammad you know uh had combated this uh many of the prophets they, they combated the whisper you know they, they had the uh the light from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al nur you know and 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 and, and, and kept it away but waswasa is the number one thing that the shaitan uses to uh entice you uh and it's taswi, uh, taswil. Taswil is seduction or enticement. You know the shaitan uh, uh, went through, you know, whether it be pornography, uh, drugs, anything, uh, he entices you continuously. And then uh, tanzayun, uh, which is make things seem beautiful to you. Uh, the bad things, the shaitan makes things, things seem beautiful to you. There's different forms that the shaitan can come into. Um, anywhere you know uh, out of nowhere you know Allah says in the Quran in chapter 2 uh, of the Quran that you know this is the book for those who believe in the unseen and are in steadfast in prayer there's unseen things that we can't see that's going on around us and we don't even understand the magnitude of our Salah you know we make Salah five times a day but we don't understand the spiritual aspect of it we don't understand the things that are coming to us you know from the Salah Inshallah, except for peace of mind that we get now and in the hereafter, but the, the, the it, it's probably it said that the, the, the salah is like a shield, you know, for you in this world. You know, it, it's a protection for you. It helps keep you from doing bad deeds. It keeps the shaitan away from you. But at the same time, when you make the salah, uh, the shaitan whispers, 
continuously, inshallah. <coughs> and uh, so, inshallah, with, with these things, uh, we have to know and understand that the devil is real. He's around us. He whispers to us. He entices us. He lures us in. You know, and we have to combat this, inshallah. And the best way to combat it is to do what Allah says: pray, fast, charity. Prophet Muhammad said that charity extinguishes sins as if, uh, you know, like water on fire. You know, and he also had one time that the Prophet there was uh, people around him, and he told the people to go and get some wood, you know, so they could build a fire. And they started stacking the wood up. And the Prophet said that similarly to this wood is the the sins that you stack. It starts off small, it gets bigger until it ignites, and then in the hellfire, inshallah. So hopefully Allah protect us from this, inshallah. Now there is in the school of thought in some Persian Islamic literature uh, that is putting the jinn and the angels on the same footing. And this could have been a historical mistake due to culture and baggage and the idea of uh, Zor 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 Zoroterian uh, traditions. The jinn and the shaitan are different, you know, uh, or the angels, I'm sorry. The shaitan is a, is a jinn who is made of fire. The Christians believe that, uh, you know, uh, the devil was an angel and he got kicked out of Jannah. But in the Islamic uh, ideology, we believe that uh, the angels do what God says. And they have no, uh, they don't never question what God says. They do what God says. They worship God continuously. <clears throat> the devil had free will. He had a sort of free will because jinns are on another level. See, we can only see three, you know, three dimensional. Uh, but the angels, you know, are on like eight, nine dimension uh, of reality, of sight, you know, that we can't see. I mean, God only gives us limited uh, things that we can see. And if we were to see these things, if we were to see angels and jinns and, you know, the sky and the heavens and all these things, then we couldn't handle it, you know. <clears throat> so with this, uh, I, I want to go again to another verse in the Quran. This is in chapter 7 of the Quran, verse 16 and 17. Uh, it says, and said he, and you have deprived me, surely I lay awake for them in your in, in their straight path. The Satan, you know, the devil says this. I lay awake for them in the straight path, and then I, I surely come unto them from bef in front of them and from behind them, and from the right side and their left side, and you will not find most of them thankful. Now, this is uh, uh, the Satan saying that he's showing Allah who is the faithful ones. It's not easy to fight the shaitan. It's the devil. It's not easy. It's not easy to be a good Muslim. You know, Allah make it easy for you, but you have to work for it. Allah says in the Quran, I will not change your soul until, it's re until it wants to be changed. This is the only thing that can help us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all, inshallah. Because without Allah, then we we're nothing. And, um, you know, unless Allah gives us the help to fight the shaitan, we're nothing. If we follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi and we follow the uh, the right people, inshallah, we can go to the Jannah. That's only if Allah has mercy on us and Allah forgives us. If we make two rakats of tawbah, anything we do wrong, we continuously turn to Allah and we ask God to forgive us, inshallah. If we can do this, Allah will forgive us. Allah says, I'll forgive you for anything except for sure, inshallah. Um, so with that, I just wanted to cover a little bit about the shaitan, uh, Islamic view of the shaitan, and uh, what it says in the Quran. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.